Welcome to the LiveAltonSchools.com preview of the Grand National 2012, um, which is at 4.15 on Saturday. Uh, what do you make of the race, George? I mean, obviously, right. it all hinges around Synchronised, winner of the Gold Cup. Indeed. I mean, yeah, obviously, Synchronised can be the big favourite. Punter's going to go, and it'd be a, it would be lovely if, if, if he had the, got the double. But for me, the, the real double would be Sunny Hill Boy coming coming home and I think he's still a cracking price. I think you might get eighteen to one, but I, but six he's getting smashed and sixteen to one is could be the top price now. Um we watched Sunny Hill Boys storm home uh at Cheltenham this year and I loved watching come home again today. He, I'm surprised after how you celebrated you can remember anything about that race. <laughs> <laughs> um, well I mean it is good. I mean it's been a bit of a up and down. Uh, we we managed to back him at thirty threes uh, bef before Cheltenham, and we we've been backing him in ever since. But he's now sixteen to one. The the one the big one question is Tony McCoy is not on not on board. Uh, Tony McCoy is obviously on synchronised stable mate. But you never know. It, it, it's a long race, big race. Yeah, I think on the Grand National trends, you, I mean certainly you look at the last eight of the last ten winners have carried eleven stone one or less. Uh, you also need to be a nine or a ten year old, so eight of, uh, no, nine of the ten, ten of the last winners have been a nine or a ten year old. Um, so I think you're looking for trends, I mean it is a big trends race. Yeah. Uh, the horse I like is Killy Glenn, yeah. uh, who I, I backed at 33s, still available at 18s now, uh, and you can get 18s with six places with Bet Victor, which I think is a very fair price. He fell four out uh, last year uh, when he was slightly impeded. Uh, he's, he's much better form this year. Yeah. I think he's a, he's a very very decent he's price. Cracking form. Yeah. The other horse I like is Rare Bob, who again has entry form uh, yeah. and uh, slightly more of an outsider. He's forty to one, but he looks like he's very generously priced. Uh, I think he's a big price because he's he's an unfashionable horse, but also he he tends not to win. But I think he trained with this race in mind. He's he's definitely can outrun his odds. And if you can get some good place, you know, forty to one each way. It's, it's yeah, one one of the things I would say is that uh, don't go and put your bet on with, uh, say, William Hill or Labritz or Coral or Bet Fred in the High Street because they're only paying four places four places on this race. There's so many people paying five places. You've got Paddy Power. Uh, you've got um, Bet Victor's paying six. Bet places. Victor's paying six. Is Stan James are paying five places. Bet three six five five places. Almost all the on. There's, there's no excuse now. not to shop shop around and get five or six places on the race, and it really does make a difference. And also look look around at other markets as well. I mean, there's a, a cracking bet I I saw. State of play, which is fifty to one to win the race, and it's unlikely it's get, getting on a bit. He, but in the last three races, in the last three Grand Nationals, he's come in the frame. He's come in the top three, I think, in the last three Grand Nationals. Yep. And he's six to four with Sporting Bet to finish the race. Doesn't even need to. Doesn't need to come in the frame. Doesn't need to place. You get six to four for that horse that, that comes, you know, comes home strong in the national historically. I think that's a cracker. Well, he, he's a sound jumper, and he'll get round probably in his own time. I mean, I'm sure there's, a, you know, I, he, he's, I think he's likely to finish. And six to four is just an amazing price. Uh, to me, that's the wrong price. Yeah, and that's just, you know, if you want to have a bet where you know you, you think you might get some return, because other other horses, anything can happen, any, anything can fall. But I think six to four, state of play, getting getting round it. I, I think that's a great bet. You've done it before, and no reason why you shouldn't do it now. Absolutely. Look on liveoddsandscores.com now to see a race, uh, a horse by horse uh, preview of the race, and keep checking back here for more betting previews. Cheers.